one of the questions we get at Willwood a lot is, how and what should I use for plumbing the hard lines in my brake system? Well, Mike, as you well know, that could be a very loaded question just in regards just to material. For our system, we went with a Speedway Motors kit, which is stainless steel. It's AN-3 lines. It comes with uh, about 20 feet of line, comes with a bunch of hardware, a bunch of different fittings, hoses. It's really everything you need, save for a couple fittings, depending on how you want to plumb it. I like how you've got everything running pretty much where it was in the stock location. It's very similar up front for sure. I like how the two lines for the front and rear circuits are coming down and you can always disconnect it easily if you needed to pull like the, the cab off the truck. Right, it made sense to put a union there. This can start getting to be a bit much when you're working with a 10 or 12 foot brake line and you mm -hmm. got a bunch of different bends in it. So that just made it easier to kind of compartmentalize each little section of line. The front's real easy because the longest one's like three feet. But when you start going from the master out back, yep. it starts getting really long and you're trying to run it through different cross members and up and around stuff. So it can get uh, a bit overwhelming. So I really like how you kept everything off onto the frame rail. Right. Because we're gonna have exhaust coming through here, right? That's right, that's right. I always like to try to kind of tuck it in if I can. You don't want to put it on the outside. You just kind of want to think about what, what could come up underneath the truck to hit it and mm -hmm. damage it or anything like that. So I try to tuck it in and really it starts to dictate itself where it wants to be. The car was already wired, so I couldn't go up into this corner. So I kind of came low. Uh, sometimes you have fuel lines and stuff like that in the way. Another thing that'll dictate is sometimes you've already got holes for clamps mm -hmm. and you, you just, you go, I don't want to drill more holes. I'll just use those. I used a few factory clamp locations and then I made my own where it needed to be. Now tell me about the clamps you used. I really like these. Yeah, these are Kugel components. These are stainless as well, just like our line. And they're available from 3 16 on up in all kinds of uh, different varieties. They're also available in double clamps. So if uh, Rob wants to come back later and do like a dash six line above this, he can get a double clamp that'll clamp both lines and you don't have a bunch of single clamps. No, that's perfect. Yeah, it keeps it really clean. So coming back to the proportioning valve, I, I like the location you put it in. Thanks. Tucked away, out of the way. There's only gonna be a few adjustments once the truck's driving that right. you're gonna make on it. Right, you're not, that's not something daily that you need to mess with. Exactly, so once that's set, this is in a great location so you can get your hand under there and adjust it. So back here, I'm looking and it looks like a lot of the same components that probably came in the Speedway kit you used. That's right, a lot of the bulkhead fittings I used, uh, the T bulkhead, I had a couple of bulkheads added because I used a couple of their tabs as well mm. so that I could run hard line across the rear end and fix it to the rear end without you know, some kind of cable clamps or anything like that. I wanted to make it really clean. These are all drilled and tapped into the hangers so I don't have to worry about going into the housing or anything like that. Obviously we've got stainless braided lines for the calipers so that we would, if we ever need to change pads or pull the caliper out or anything like that, we're not disturbing the hard line. Yeah, no, I really like how everything came out. Thank you. If you guys want more tech tips, tech stories, and tech videos, check out classictruckperformance.com. And Mike, where can we find more Willwood content? Where can they get a hold of you guys? You can tips? get a hold of us on willwood.com. Okay. Or you can give us a call at 805-388-1188. There you go. You got an OnlyFans page? I've been working on that, actually. <laughs>